Rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are, from Kartong to Koina, with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland, and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast, and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. another interesting episode of the Youth Bantama Show, live on Garmin Talents TV, and I am your host, Aisa Tukoli. Um, today's Youth Bantama Show, I have a phenomenal um, young, talented Gambian footballer who has played all his life football and also represents the Gambia uh, during the AFCON tournament in Cameroon. I now introduce to you Mohamed Badamusi, well, of course, he's a star and he knows what he is up to. I now allow Mohamed to um, say a few words to the viewers. Welcome to the Youth Bantabashi, Mohamed. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, hello everyone, it's Mohamed Badamusi, Gambian International, player of Kavi Kotlik. I'm saying hello to everyone out there. Okay. Well, tell us who Mohamed Badamusi is. Well, my brother Muzi is a young Gambian player playing his football in Belgium. I was born and raised in Cholakunda, where you are right now. This is my part place. So I'm from Cholakunda, and I'm, I'm Gambian, like yeah. a Gambian, but like half Gambian. My father, my father is Nigerian. Mm. My mother is Gambian, but I only know Gambia. So. Well, you're still a Gambian, no? Yeah. yeah. So tell us about. Um, your, your educational background, where you started, you know, your secondary school, junior school? Yeah, I started my nursery school here in, in Jolakunda. We have a school behind here. Okay. I started my nursery school there, and then later I went to Latikunda Sabiji, lower busy school. I spent two years there, and then I was in Fajikunda just for one time. St. Charles Luanga, just for one time, and then I moved to Janjambure where I finished my primary school level. And then I came back here, I went to Charles Zhao, mm -hmm. where I did my junior secondary and my senior secondary schooling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's all. Amazing. Um, when we said football, you associating yourself with football, when did you start playing football? I started playing football at an early age. Like when my when my father was still alive, I was playing football, but it was not like playing proper proper football. I just yeah. had the, had the chance to play football on Saturdays mm -hmm. and on Sundays because my father didn't want me to play. He didn't want me to play football, you know. He was like my father was a school teacher, so he was always like wanting me to you need to, to concentrate yeah, education, education, yeah. education. But when my father passed away, then I had the chance. Like I was a little bit free, I started playing football. That was around 2009, yeah. 
It was a nightmare. What was it like as a teenager, um, you know, playing and also going to school? Because a lot of times it's difficult for a lot of, um, you know, kids out there who, you know, um, wanted to play football, mm -hmm. but they could not because of, you know, some um, school issues also because parents really do want their kids to focus more on school, you know, in the Gambia than other countries. Other countries, if your kid is, you know, um, wanted to do football or some other thing, they help you to, you know, through the process. But here it's different. So what was it like mixing school and then playing football? Uh, for me, nah, no, I didn't do it okay. during school days. Because for me, when my father was alive, I can never, I can never do school mm. to play football. That was impossible. Right. But when my father passed away, like, like I said in the beginning, I was, I was more, I have, I had more freedom. You know, my mother, my mother couldn't. She was going to work. She couldn't. She cannot control me the whole day. You know. Mm -hmm. So it's always difficult. It's always difficult trying to do two things at the same time, like right. going to school right. and then trying to play football. Is 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 difficult. So in Gambia here, parents normally want their kids to concentrate on, on schooling because football-wise, the opportunity here is is very low. Yeah. So yeah. parents don't normally think that okay, a person can make it through football. Mm -hmm. You always believe that you have to you have to go to school yeah. and then maybe you graduate, mm -hmm. be a lawyer or things like that. You know, but. I just, I just feel like it's nature sometimes, and then working hard, you know, and a little bit of luck here in Gambia because you need some luck in Gambia. Mm -hmm. It's not only talent; you yeah. need to have talent, work hard, and then mm -hmm. a little bit of luck. Mm -hmm. So I just feel like it's always difficult. There's nothing that comes easy. Playing football and going to school is difficult, but at one given time, you have to choose what you want to do. Is it you want to focus on schooling or you want to focus on football? For me. I choose football when I graduated, when I did my final Exam. exams. After that, I concentrated on football. I just wanted football, so it was easy for me to choose. I just choose football because that's what I want. Yeah. I mean, we understand you played for Jola Kunda and then um, at the Sarakuna East, and then you went to Real de Banjo, if I am right. Yeah. Um, what was it like, you know, playing for um, Navitan, a Navitan team? And then, you know, you were scouted, and then you know, you you you, you went to Rio de Banjo and then spent some seasons there before traveling to Europe. Yeah. For me, as the only place I know is Jorakuna. Yeah. I started my football career here. We did nine times. You know, we started from the qualifier rounds and then to the nine times. So it was it was an honor to, to you know it was an honor to play for my hometown for my people you know it, right. it's always an honor so for me I, I if i if i have to give everything is to joe lakuna because they are the people who made me what i am today so you know so it's always an honor and a pleasure for me i'm, I'm always proud to say that i started my football career from joe lakuna so i started here and then i think i played two three years in Navitan, and then i i moved to real in 2014, yeah. yeah. And then from real I moved to Ngor. And then from Ngor I went in Senegal. To, yeah, in Senegal. And then I went to I went to Morocco. From Morocco then I'm now in Belgium. Belgium. Yeah. It's a journey. And um, I think a lot of um, young people out there don't know the struggles that some of you professional footballers went through before you know you reach the place where you are. Tell us some of the difficulties that you went through through your journey, you know, from playing for Jola Kuna, then Real de Banjo, you went to Ngor, then to Morocco, and then to Belgium. Yeah, in life, in life, I don't think nothing comes easy. Right. Nothing comes easy. So, in one way or the other, you must have one little story that, like, or some little obstacles that, that will come in your way mm -hmm. to success. So, you just need to be strong in the head you need to have a strong mindset and then you need to work hard so mm -hmm. i can remember when i was playing when i was playing Navetan, it was hard like even to find football boots mm -hmm. you know because my mother was 
my mother was the only one taking care of us. You, you don't expect her like to take the money for the family to buy football boots. Where we are, you put in the money and then you don't know whether you get that money back. So it was always difficult like to get football boots. But uh, the only thing you have to you have to you have to be grateful in life is that you have life. If you have life, mm -hmm. you are living. Everything is possible. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that was the most important thing. I was having life, I was having where I can put my head on, where I can sleep. If I wake up, I have food to eat, so yeah. I cannot complain much. I cannot complain much. It was hard, but it is what it is. So it's part of life, you know? I mean, I, I want to take you behind a little bit because I feel like the reason why you are doing football is because you are being inspired. Yeah. Um, what makes you like football to an extent you got inspired probably you know someone out there who's playing football might be you know an icon or a role model to you so what inspired Mohamed Badr Morsi you know to play football to be honest like I won't say he's anybody I I just felt like football is is something that I like mm -hmm. and I felt like football is is a it's a job or a profession right. that I felt like it can change my life and it can change the life of the people around me. So my inspiration was my mother first yeah. because I I always want to put my mother in a position that she will feel she will feel comfortable. You know, mm -hmm. you know, like she will be happy that okay, my son is making me proud. You know, mm -hmm. so my first inspiration is always my mother. Like yeah. I've been watching football since I was young. So, and I know, I don't, I want to say I know football a lot, but I've been following football since I was young. So I know the things that football yeah, can give yeah, you, you know. Yeah. So my inspiration was my mother, my family, you know, the people around me. I just felt like if I do good in football, I can change a lot of things. So. I think we, 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 we need to, you know, thank our mothers, you know, for raising us up. Yeah. Because a lot of young people mm -hmm. that I have interacted with on the youth band Taba, they're very successful, very brilliant young people who are actually representing Gambia in, 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 in all aspects, all sectors. Mm -hmm. But the first thing they will say is Sumaya Mota Madefli, Sumaya Mota Mali. So I think we, we, we owe that to our, our, our parents. So coming back to um, another question. How was it like, you know, as a young person playing in, in, in Europe or other countries? Let's let's talk about the Seneg the Senegalese League, for example. You have played for Real de Banjul, you've also played for the Senegalese League. Mm -hmm. I asked um Wale Fofana, what's the difference between the Senegalese League and, 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 and the Gambians League? He gave me, you know, some of the things. How was it like, you know, and, and what's the difference between the Senegalese League and the Gambians League? Yeah, I don't think there's that much difference because I was playing in the in the second division. I was not playing in the first division. I was playing in the second division. There was not much difference, you know. The only thing is like maybe the Senegal, the Senegalese league, they, they invested a lot in the league more than the Gambian league. So I think that's the only difference because you can see Gambian players, Gambian players playing in the Senegalese league. They are doing much better than even right. when they were playing right. in the in the Gambian league. So I just feel like. It's the matter of commitment and investment that the Senegalese League have more than the Gambian League. But I don't feel like there's a more, there's a lot of difference. Like there's there's a little bit of difference because obviously Senegalese they have international player players from Mali, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like there's a lot of difference, you know. I think we, 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 what um, some of the things that we are lacking in, in our Gambian football league is, you know, investors coming in to invest. Because a lot of times you, you, you see um, young footballers facing challenges like, you know, transportation fee. But if at all, you know, we have investors who are actually interested in football, um, I think a lot of things will have been better. I, probably we might come, you know, we might send the standard straight we might actually say compare one of um you know the two but well, it's rather unfortunate yeah that's the problem we have here in gambia like we need to we need to find people like to invest in the football yeah like the i don't know where is the government or the people responsible like 
they should like put some rules and regulations for companies like they should invest yeah. they should invest football is a game that and also bring development to mm -hmm. a country so right, right. they need to they need to like force companies to invest that's what senegal is the senegalese league is like companies know they are forced to invest in, into football yeah so they need to invest if, if they invest like we will see maybe not now but it will take a, a, little, a little bit of time but if we invest we will see in the future a little bit of changes and I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I know, um, you know, the way our football is going now, probably, you know, we might have some investors and, you know, these GSM companies as well coming in um, to support uh, the divisional um, league one and two and three, because, um, you know, these are people that, you know, you scattered them. And at the end of the day, most of them will have opportunity to travel beyond Gambia. Yeah. So I think it is important. Now let's talk about Bonamosi from Africa to Europe. Um, you know, you have signed contract, you went to Morocco, after Morocco, you went to Europe. Hmm. How is it like um, being a young Gambian out there struggling you know, at times you might adopt to the weather, you know, languages as well. So, how is it like over there? Yeah. Well, uh, when I first moved away from Gambia, it was Senegal. So yeah. Senegal is not like it's not like a foreign country. Yeah. Senegal is more or less the same like Gambia. Gambia. Yeah. yeah but when I when I went to Morocco, yeah, it was a it was a little bit hard because I, I couldn't speak French, I couldn't speak Arabic. So it was difficult. I can only speak English, and then in the dressing room, they cannot speak English. Maybe one, one or two players can speak English. Communication level was a little bit hard. Mm. You know, maybe the food, you know, the weather. But uh, as I always say, like in life, when you, when you are a male child, like you should always learn hardship. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you cannot go to a place it's hard, and then you say that I want, I want to let go. I'm giving up. Mm. There is no giving up. Yeah. When you're out of Gambia, you know that you leave your family, your mother, your siblings, you know, your family, your close one. You know, if you think about that, I don't think that there is anything that can make you come back. If mm -hmm. if your fellow men are doing the same thing, why can't you? That's that's the only mentality I was having. If my friends are doing this, I can yeah, also do it too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But when I from Morocco it was it Morocco was not hard like Belgium. Belgium was on another level. I went to Belgium around October, I think. It was already winter over there. It was cold, freezing, you know, a lot of rain. It was hard. Like my first season in Belgium was hard. I went, played one game. The second game I got injured, like for three months. So it was hard with the cold. But and the frustrations as well. And the well. frustration, you know. You moving, wanting to play, and then you cannot play because of injury. It's, it's always hard, but I always thank God because in everything, everything you see in life is is destined to happen. So amazing. So um, I am reminding you viewers just still watching the Urban Tabasho live on Gambian Talents TV, and I am Isa Tukoli today. My guest is um, Gambian international footballer playing in Belgium, Mohamed Benamosi, who is, of course, um, a centre-forward player, right? Yeah. Yes, I think I, I got that right. Now, let's talk about your call up for um, the Gambian national team. Um, how was your first call of life? Because I know a lot of young Gambians out, both home and abroad, always wanted to represent Gambia in international comp uh, competitions, you know, um, wearing the blue, blue, white, green um, flag, national flag, which I think it's an honor for every genuine Gambian um, if you go out there to represent Gambia. So how was it like your first experience playing for the Gambia national team? Uh, yeah, my first call was like, I think, in 2017. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sangdong was the, the coach. The coach yeah. yeah, he gave me my first cup. He, I played, I think I played like what, 10, 15 minutes. I was, I was proud. I was happy, but I was at the same time, you know, 
surprised because I was not I was not expecting expecting a call up. Expecting a call up. Mm -hmm. At that time, it was I just I just moved to Morocco for three months, three or four months, and then I got my first call up. I was a little bit surprised, but same time proud because I always knew how my people here back in Jola Kunda will be feeling yeah. when they hear that I'm, I have been called up in national team. Because I think I was the first person around this area to be called up, called, called up to the national team from Jola Kunda, I mean. Amazing. So it was, it was always, it was always an, a, a big honor, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, I was surprised. It was a mixed feeling, surprised at the same yeah. time, really happy, you know. Mm -hmm. But it was nice. It was a nice experience. Playing with the Gambia national team is always, is always nice. You know, missing some players that you have not seen for years, mm -hmm. and then meeting up with them again, playing. You know, and then maybe sometimes because sometimes maybe you are you are with other people, other people with a different culture, yeah. and then leaving them to spend maybe two weeks with your Gambian brothers, you know, yeah. it's always nice. It's amazing. Yeah. It's, it's, it's a good feeling. Yeah, it's a good feeling. Um, so let's talk about Gambia um, qualifying for AFCON for the first time. You being part of those that, um, you know, um, took the Gambia um, to the war, to the map or to the world, because uh, after playing AFCON, we, 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 we've seen, you know, a lot of changes in, in, in our Gambia um, domestic league and also, um, you know, how we portray things out there in terms of football. Mm -hmm. How is it like um, representing Gambia for the first time at the AFCON tournament? You know, we have the likes of Biri Biri who tried, you mm -hmm. know, they, they, they were not able to succeed. And we know Biri Biri is a legend, but, you know, Africa and you know in in, in Europe or Asia. Mm. So you being one of those that qualify for qualify Gambia for the Afcons and also being part of it as well because you went to um, Cameroon. We've seen the energy that Brother Mosi is always in the dancing <laughs> and all, which is my favorite part. But mm. we will come to that. So um, how is it like? Nah, it it was amazing, like. It was amazing from the from the first from the first time we qualified here. Yeah. In in March, mm -hmm. I think in March last year. Yeah. When we qualified, you could see that you could see that when we qualified the last day the last game we played against Angola, mm -hmm. the energy that the that the whole population brought to the stadium. You know, even though the, the COVID was around, yeah. People we didn't care about the COVID. Well. We were just celebrating. So. Yeah. From there, you, you everybody everybody knew that this is something else. This is this is more than football. This is this is something like the whole game we have been waiting for. You know. So, for me as a player, it was it was a honor. It was a honor because the first thing that in, in my football career, the first thing that I think about is me myself, and then after me, then I'm thinking about my family. You know, my my people from Jola Kunda because I know how how much they support me, how much they want to see me succeed, you know. Mm -hmm. So when we qualify, I was like, my back home, it will be crazy. Yeah. Back home in my compound, in my neighborhood, everybody will be going mad, you know. So it was an amazing feeling. And then going to Cameroon, mm -hmm. playing, not, I really wanted to score. I really wanted to score goals, but it didn't happen. But I just knew that coming into the pitch and then my family, my mother seeing me on the TV, that's something else, that's something like every every young Gambian player is dreaming of like yeah. playing in big tournaments where your family will be watching you and then feeling proud about you. So it was it was an amazing feeling to be honest. Yeah. So we've seen but most being um called up for national duty several times and then finally you represent Gambia to Cameroon. Um, I personally, I'm a fan of you, you know. I am a fan of Brother Mosi, but I really wanted to see Brother Mosi have, you know, most playing time to play for Gambia. Unfortunately, that was not the case. But still, you have that energy. Colleagues, you are positive. You're always positive. You're supporting, you're cheering up, um, you know, your teammates. 
how is it like you know not having the playing time that you wanted because i know you also wanted you know to go out there and and you know tell the people show what you what, what you got in you but unfortunately that was not the case how is it like it's just part of professionalism and that's what i feel it's just being professional because we know that <laughs> I want to play yeah. in the starting 11. Yeah. There's someone out there wanted to be in the exactly. squad list, you know. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just like you need to be grateful and thankful in anything that you are in. Mm -hmm. Because maybe I'm on the bench. Right. I'm not feeling happy. Mm -hmm. Another person is in the stairs watching the game. Mm -hmm. He he's not happy. Right. Another person is back home with his club. He wanted to be there but he cannot be there. So not everybody can play. We just have 11 players that can play. 18 players. Maximum 14 players can only play. So, if you are not playing, why not cheer up the, the boys? That's, that, that's the mentality I always have. It's like, if I don't play, let, let the boys do well and we win. If, if yeah. we win, it's yeah. the whole Gambia that wins. I think that, that is the best someone could do for, for, yeah. for your team. But if, if we do well, if we do well, if the whole team do well, yeah. if the 11 players do, do well, when, they, when we are talking, we want to say that this or this person or this person, this, the thing is that Gambia won, yeah. and then Gambia are into the finals, or Gambia are into the quarterfinals. And then if you are there, you are part of the team. Mm -hmm. that, that's, the, that's the energy that I have. I don't know what other people think, but yeah. that's how I feel. And, and, I, and, and I saw a lot of people on social <laughs> media, you know, um, some of these activists, you know, these big people on social media, they are like one person that we have to acknowledge his positivity, you know, his energy. Even though you don't have, you know, the playing time that you wanted, but you're always there. But I must say, the day future, the day, <laughs> you know. So, you know, everyone was saying that, you know, because they feel like now you're a young product, but you're not just there just for your own self. You're there to represent, you know, the people of Jola, Huna, yeah. the people of the Gambia, mm -hmm. and you have that energy. So, and giving them, you know, no one other other attitudes you know because we've seen players well we don't know why they they actually walked out away from the tournament probably one of you know one or two reasons but one of the things the key most important thing is you know, most important, he's always positive he's having the energy and cheering of the boys which i think it's great yeah that, that like if if anyone knows me personally People know how I am. That's how I am like. Yeah. That's how I am. I'm always positive. I'm always positive. I like to joke, you know. I just like to I just like to be free. I like people around me like to be free, like mm -hmm. I don't want people to be around me and then feel otherwise. I like people around me to be free. Like you need to come you need to come like during the day, meet me with the, with the boys here, yeah. with my young siblings here, or my young brothers from the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. I'm always free. Like that's that's how I am. Like, everybody is. You have your own character. You you have like how you are. This is how I am. Mm -hmm. And I pray to God that I continue being like this till the day I will have to leave the earth. Amazing. And and when I was making you know some research about you, I asked someone, um, who's this Badamus? And he was like. You know, and he's very down to earth, of a kind. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know how. Go, oh, okay. So I, I, I think those are some of the qualities that not even a player should have, but also every individual should have. The moment you lay low, then I am nobody. As especially young people, because we tend to rush things. Because probably young, you, you, you've been offered so many contracts, but you know you're still doing what you're doing, even though um, Gambians think that you should be in a better league, you know, uh, playing for better clubs, you know, and we, we get there because the most of us have more for some league number to play and, you know, the team that you support. So um, how is it like being a Gambian national team player, representing your country, Nipang is, Nipang, Nip Dilabai hell, and playing on the Thompson paint because a lot of people say that he's 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 a man of principle, you know, more that he's a sharpshooter. Where it is, where uh, that that's where it should be. So how is it like playing on on, on the Thompson paint? 
Yeah, I think we Tom I played more games with Tom than any other coach. Okay. So he's a good he's a good coach, you know. He's a good coach and then like he's a coach that works on tactics like you know. Yeah. He want he wants his players to play what he wants to. He's a he's a fine he's a fine coach and he's doing well with the Gambia. I, yeah, I'm wishing yeah. him all the best. Yeah. yeah, I think. So, uh, what what do you made up of Gambians that, that that thing that he needs to be changed? You know, to be replaced by some, some someone else. That, uh, Did that's... you guys prefer uh, uh, Tom than any any other person, or you guys are just players? You know, any 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 manager that's the that problem. yeah we any manager just, that you... we are just players. We yeah. keep to only only to football. Or is it because Soko criticizes Tom Dula or next thing next no, qualifier? No, do you do Player, I need to make a ham surplus. No important, it's why I miss a plus. The hams of Opposite Jamu are a boca. Yeah, I'm understanding. Yeah, Tom is the coach, he's the coach. We, we are just players, we just play football. Mm -hmm. That's the that, that's the most important. The, the rest is the federation, and the, you know, yeah, I don't know the people responsible, but they are responsible. We as players, we are only responsible to play for the Gambia because Gambia is our Gambia. Yeah, no matter who comes or go, Gambia is still Gambia, yeah. you know. So, yeah. The most important thing is we just play football. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, what are some of the challenges that you Gambian players face normally? You know, in terms of you know logistics, well, like in terms of you know having some of these things that you don't get, because we've seen the saga that happens during your 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 cost of the tournament in Cameroon. Some of you, um, you know. Your clubs were expecting you that particular day, but unfortunately they have issues with the flight. Mm -hmm. So, what are some of the challenges that some of you players do face um, at the uh, at the national when you guys are on national duties? No, I don't, I don't think like is is challenges, but I just feel like every, everyone like you need to know. You need to know what's good for you and what's like what's good for you and what's not good for you. Like it's challenges that we normally have, like is all is all over the internet. Everybody is seeing. Yeah. Like, those are challenges that we normally have. Like in Cameroon, we had challenges, but like we wanted to we really wanted to come to see the fans, yeah. see our family members after the tournament, but it was not possible. So like for people like me, it was not possible. I didn't have anything. I just took my ticket and go back to to my club to play my football. That's, like that's no, that's all. We the the thing I the only thing I think is like is we as players the only thing we can do is play football. Like we cannot come to the television or to the radio like yeah, to the, and you know yeah. to complain. That that's not something that we should be doing. The only thing we we can do is to play football. Yeah, <laughs> you have to only do to play football if you want to do. Something like to criticize somebody or to say somebody, then leave football and then do that. Mm -hmm. But for me, I just concentrate on football. What happens in anywhere that we go, or with the national team, or with my club, or with anything, I have no business with that. The only thing I I concentrate on is football because that's the only thing I, I can do. If I have to leave football to stay, to try, try to criticize somebody, then I'm leaving my. You know, I'm leaving my job, yeah, doing another. I'm leaving my, leaving my profession to yeah. do another profession, mm -hmm. which means that I might say something that I should not be saying, or you know, I will be maybe I will be, I will be making someone feel bad or feeling some some other way, some other way about me that I am not. Mm -hmm. So the only thing I will just concentrate is on football. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's my profession. You know, but all players are also under the federation, right? Yeah. And you know we have seen Gambians coming out you know, criticizing the federation, you know, with um, some of these needs that the prayer should at least got, you know. And uh, one thing that Gambians are saying it's because ye dole de muna complain, you know, whether to go out to the general public to complain, but you guys. You guys, you have your captain, your assistant captain, you know, you know, you represent. Some of these issues, I don't to the captain, captain, you know, 
you know, si 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 technical team. Like the Liara was more on the cover. Complete. I think I, I'm more understanding. I think I just see if football like. Yeah. You know, I see what name go. Do you want do you want your face to lady? What you need? Yeah. Do you want do you want to lose lose? Man, can I have my money? Lose lose. That's not my way. Man, see if football la. Man, now if football. Why if you? You know, I'm not having your see if federation. Yeah. Because Lunity di Kohalate and maybe your law and need to interpret your law neck do the neck abena. So the best thing for me is like to keep my mouth shut. Yeah. Uh, so you concentrate more on more on football like yeah. more on football like. So not only say um swing uh, division league one football. Um looking at it, um I personally at times the money muna them say that I football. Most especially when we have the budget is playing or you know, fortune and stuff. Mm. Um Lagi, like, nak angkat gisi soin Division League One football compared to your London play um, Division League One. Uh, I just feel like there's a there's a little bit of improvement, like because yeah. now, when even when we are in Europe, we sometimes watch the the football league yeah, live. live, you know. Yeah. So there's a little bit of improvement. Mm -hmm. Although we would have loved to see the league grow grow more, but at least. We are telling, we are we are starting from somewhere. Mm -hmm. We are watching the league now, even in abroad, back home abroad. We are watching the league, so there's a little bit of improvement. I just hope and pray that we will grow more and more and more and more. You know? So I want to have your opinion on Niti um, Lindewa. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, you know. Uh, coach Thompson said the 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 sideline swing division league one league because most of um his scouting book there it's all on you guys. Yeah, in Europe, you know, you guys are doing well. Um, 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 um sideline you have the new and we are seeing you know a lot of young stars um who are actually playing in the division league one. Um, football. A lot of them say, "You know, I'm the young man. So you're not happy with football, you know." So, don't you think from now the scouting team is um, division league one? Um, 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 you know, some of the players, you know, the young man, they're doing very well in division league one. Not this, at least, you have a little bit of balance and experience because yeah, you guys are already experienced, but then you learn from you guys. Lola, 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 Federation Tom, you know what I want to tell you. Lord, no, no. Man, as man, as Mohammed Baramus, play like a complete Gambia. I want to know your opinion. Your fogulone, Tom, what Nigel, one or two, at least you know, 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 Really? Um, no, my opinion doesn't matter because the man my what Tom Lumode. Yeah. What a man, Tom, Mama Federation, be your handful, no, 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 you uh, give me, unfortunately, an M to the um, quarter finals. Mm -hmm. um, which I think that for the first time, um, Gambia as a team, so called say at a competition, experience yeah. But because of you guys, we are determined mm -hmm. and you guys work together as a team. More than you are falling, 
what was the feeling like, you know, representing the Gambia, you know, when you get to qualify as we, when them see tournament, we to an extent, when they be quarter finals. In fact, um, you know, a lot of people said that so far, so far, I'm on Sunday. So how how was the feeling like? The feeling was amazing. The feeling was amazing because come now over here, you know, you you win on them see tournament, be the. The objective was like, then you get a group stage. Yeah. No money comes to the objective. You finish fourth or second, you get them round of 16. You get them, I'm not going to say that 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 I'm not going to say out there all ham yeah. so then basically quarter final we ham play you want to play a cameroon yeah. although we lost to cameroon why right? everybody was proud yeah new players he yeah. supporters he back home couldn't get, couldn't get proud on because boys he, they really did well they couldn't come then them for who know like hunger put them play you time they don't even play one and then be high final why right? yeah like more than a quarter final then you know m four and m ham Definitely, definitely give up. Man, no lah, man. Definitely give up. I'm with you, with support because for a very long time, just my Gambia, you support a national team. Be come, you have support a national team. Be even, even days you have never seen play bad. Yeah. You have to support national team. Be who never support like who never young group, who never young group. We just lose. Even you never. You need to come here and say you get money just through this internet. Be, you need to come down support. Mark Halen, Dau Ham. So, the only more law on the last up combi. It was, it was an amazing feeling. Ham, boy, trying and throw, boy, trying and throw. I think that was the best moment Gambia that Gambia ever got since after you know since 2016 presidential election. We you know you have a lot of things going on, and you get. Uh, politicians, the activists, everyone coming together, and you digital Gambia first. And uh, um, you know, looking at you guys, I'm not your hands are stake, then Kisu score, the Lilian Kojo, which I think it's 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 amazing because no the football more kawara, so no football, a lot do am. But I think Gambia government, with, together with um, youth and sport. Um, Honorable Minister, you know, always mom that they want to say that you'd want to buy one time. Do you want to put one time? You just as a football, you know, because we are seeing a lot of um, changes, a lot of things happening uh, through um, sports and, and and other activities. You have the young people still still in the mona japa. Now let's talk about um, but mostly as a whole. For next, I say to Sabopa. Where are you seeing yourself in the next five years? You know, as 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 a young player playing for you know your 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 country, playing mm -hmm. for your club because I'm not a Google or there's a club that you want to play more bigger clubs, more bigger team than 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 than, than the, mm -hmm. you know the one that you are. Man, man, from over just more more. <laughs> Next five years, the ball of one of the pillars is more for why. Ligue at Akiala, because Nikki Mongon Terek and I'm Louis Hill Elegam and Grammar. Why Bugana do give money at them to a higher level, Lul Mombugana personally. So there are continue work at Hamma, Dinyan Yala Yala Hamma. Musalma si aiga nyu kuz nyu neka osta osta kuzio ame bende muna nyu si kana me a football hamu. Do lama gina woka trek nyu ni ala ala musalma si aiga nyu demu nyu no hamu. Then bwa na jismo pa play si ai England nyu 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 play si play me ligi. Mlo la bwa insha Allah so. Which particular team? <laughs> Chelsea was my team there. Chelsea, so Chelsea is going to play. Chelsea was my team. play Manchester United. Manchester, so why Manchester? Did not play. Ah, 
Nu avem înțeles, nu avem înțeles. Chiar simbolul este motiv. Chiar simbolul este motiv. Amazing. So, ia lângă play al Chelsea, ora Manchester. Manchester, sunt mult sportiv. Am venit cu Nior Bana. Da, e în acord. Nu l-am luat, nu l-am luat. So, nu e ghis. We are now receiving information that uh, Gamio will begin their yeah, um, qualifier run, run up something, I think, you know. Um, probably during the place in home games, you don't need Gambia, but instead it's going to be in Senegal. And and we have seen officials of the GFF, New Hamlet, New New responsible for logistics and all. The mm-hmm. one then you make a survey. Mm-hmm. You guess like uh, the only ground that is available is in chess, mm-hmm. and uh, around June, you can win a place and qualify. But no, mm-hmm. are you expecting for another call up to participate in this one also? Ah, we're gonna play more. We're gonna play. Hmm. We're gonna play why? We need to get football. I can have more help. Hmm. But you, you need football alone. Then you always get ready at any particular given time. Mm-hmm. Um, any time when you call Gambia, today Gambia you win. That I just don't care. You you play. So you get off the hard. So you only you you play. Inshallah. So um, no guess as to the current situation we ask Gambia. So you are well in the stadium. Because I feel like, ne, in as much as um, the Ghana Football Federation has a, a bigger role to play, mm. but also in terms swing bad, I'm not so Why? Because they're there to represent the people. The reason why they're in those offices is because of you, me, him, and other people. Mm. Are you that much disappointed, and you feel bad because? One, come Gambia with some capacity, we look well. At fallen water play, it's 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 not different. It's different. Looking at swing stadium, we more get a ray stadium ball and water than play in chess. Hmm. You know, probably you want to see say I, you know, a top fan like me and others. You know, you have you 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 them cheer up la. So what, what what do you make of swing current situations and then swing games? See you you go and play in Senegal. No, man, Luma Luma see you na harere moi come playing and playing and qualifiers. See na na ka playing and qualifiers. See qualifiers. See munyo just swing fancy because of time COVID. Yeah. Supporters see munyo do ga. Exactly. Then after you you qualify, you then play after Kwanbi. Play half from the player. Munyo play at top game finish because low level moments in the game. Munyo am Munyo reunite a fancy. Low level moments in the game. Right, right. Munyo will tell me football league league ni la de de me. So we just need to accept and then we move on. Look, look at the import. Look at the important. When you qualify next, whether you go play Senegal or something, go Munyo play. Look at the important. When you qualify, because when you qualify, then you wanna play. When you qualify, then you wanna play. Right. So. Je fais ce que je fais. 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 Je fais ce que <laughs> Someone told me Belmus is a very smart player. You know, there are some of the questions you can impose. The 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 tried to dodge some of the questions, which I think that he's he's doing. Uh, but um, finally, we 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 are at the latter part of the interview. Um, you know, Nika Gami international player. Magis, you know, some of. Sahale, you get the how you know, and then Buba Jeka Axi, you know, my egg is young, a Tony and Tay guy and stuff. I know a lot of people out there, you know, you know, you know, wanted to be like you some other day, and probably um, they might think that 
the, 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 the journey to success where you are being an international player, it's very easy. You as a, a player, I know you are young, you still have a long way to go, mm. but others also are looking up to you. Mm. So what would be those inspirational messages that you will send to, you know, um, Ibrahim or Mila Neka di Seitan, or Baka di Mila Neka di Seitan, Temum Temum Buga Neka Bada Mose? I believe. I believe from the Gomes Lo mo gane important do force ya wa gom sa boba ha ngo du ñepa la de gom di ha ha be su de ne ñepa de ñew de su de meti mo do se fi ñu fa ne ka zo mental is you need to be strong da nga wara believe sa boba and then nga work hard do ko bu ne ka fu bola nga tire ko bu ko bu ne ka lo ya fo nga den school nga janga fo nga read fo nga Generate say and more of it. Yeah. So come likewise in football, I'm so big nigga, so big nigga professional. Nanga train hard, although lock mufa, lock mufa there. For someone you seem to have you, for I'm tooty lock. For Yala Japa, then I'm lock tooty. Why for not fault and I take a Ulu Sabova because you also have over force. No matter, no, I have no name, no one, no Nahari Nahari, you all are forced to. And I take Ulu sabofa ne lila abuga def hamwa lila abuga lila abuga def den nga wok man advise bobu la ham pour young players ñu xamne dañ bëgg nek professionnel ulu len sen bopa ngeen train hard hamwa tem len def faté fo len joggé hamwa digo yeah it's simple after si after si sniki mom sanity rek nga am sanity rek nga am ñu xamne ñu fa ak yow hamwa su neexé mo da nga gis ku neexa waye so media, you have a neck and you get an important so motor will defy this and you have a new love for the neck of them, them more meat. Amazing. So, um, finally, um, do you know as a card what's going to be your final words to your fans out there, you know, and those that are watching? I want to go again, my Nico Necamo, I'm not over neck in life. So then we choose I'm not over neck in life. Go for it. I'm go for it. Nam ni chow ham ni ni la gum. Am ni chow ham ni la gum. Why yo? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Gum al sabo pare. Ham. No gum sabo pare. Lila abuga, lila abuga def. No go for it. Ham. Table and def at it. Bun def at it. Sin parents ya wa. Yeah. Bun def at it. Sin parents ya kosta mi. Nyom 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 fine. Nyom 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 fine. Kal nyom nyom len fine kal ham. Important na tolo. Well, um, that's it, and uh, it was the Youth Bantaba Show live on Garment Talents TV. And uh, my guest today is none other than um, the superstar, the talented one. You know, he's powerful. You know, in in in, in when when it comes to um, center forward, Munasko um, goal, and he's very very down to earth, very kind, of course. Um, you know, they don't get called when uh, he was um, closing, um, closing remarks. I'm um, Jahem Monica. Um, as a young players out there, you need to believe in yourself and do not forget where you come from because I think that it is important. A lot of people lost along the way because you know you tend to forget where you come from. Um, so I'm you know, Sandy in your hand and your new alpha and neck alone, you know, you also, you know, you look up to people as well. He made mention of very, uh, very important in Meneka, our parents. Um, I think our parents as young people played a very much, a uh, very much interesting um, key roles as uh, in life, we in goals, in Buga. And I think they need to be celebrated. Like I said, the Youth Bantaba Show is a program designed to talk about issues affecting young people and as well as celebrate them. And I'll be bringing in guests from different sectors, being it a lawyer, a nurse, a carpenter, of course, and the other thing that a young person, being it a Gambian or non-Gambian, this is a platform where we celebrate you. And uh, on today's Youth Bantaba Show, I have uh, Mohamed Badamosi, until I come you in your way uh, next week with another young, amazing, uh, talented Gambian. It's a bye from us. Thank you. If
you want to receive monies from UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world, Supersonics Money Transfer has got you covered. With the largest payout network in the Gambia, you can now receive your monies anywhere you are from Kartong to Koina with less hassle. Yes! You can receive monies from your family and friends in UK, Europe, USA, Canada, Switzerland and the rest of the world with our safe, secure, fast and convenient service that offers you the largest selection of payout locations in the Gambia. Supersonics Money Transfer. We are currently in 34 African countries and counting, giving you quality money remittance services that are second to none. Visit the Google Play Store or the Apple Store today to download the Supersonics Money Transfer app and enjoy excellent money transfer services only with Supersonics. Supersonics.